Hello colleagues, I'm Dr. Carliza Marcos, and it's been an honor to serve as your CDA president this year. We have done so much important work, and that includes putting Proposition 35 on the ballot, a measure co-sponsored by CDA that Californians will vote on in the November 5th election. Voters are receiving their ballot, and I want to remind you what Prop 35 means to our members, our patients, and the state dental care system. 15 million Californians rely on the state's Medi-Cal program for their dental coverage, a number that keeps growing and makes Medi-Cal by far the largest dental plan in the state. While many commercial dental plan networks are shrinking, the number of dentists accepting Medi-Cal is growing with a 30% increase in recent years. This is a direct result of new dental benefits, increased reimbursement rate, and student loan repayment grants that CDA has delivered through our advocacy. Medi-Cal is becoming an increasingly viable option for our dentists, but there's much more to do. Less than half of kids and a quarter of adults on Medi-Cal had dental office visits last year. Reimbursements remain too low for many services, and too many communities lack the dental providers they need. Prop 35 is the next important step. It will secure new funding to increase more dental reimbursement rates and dental student loan repayment. It does this without raising taxes, and it will prevent the state from redirecting these funds for other purposes. Prop 35 is essential to providing more certainty and more options for dentists and the patients we serve. Members can help spread the word in a variety of ways. Learn more at voteyes35.com and look for continued updates from CDA. Thank you for watching and please remember to vote yes on Prop 35.